My paintings just grow very intuitively. It's all been about color and balance. I love wonky edges. I like the colors pushing into each other. A while ago, I wrote that my work is a meditation, an effort to distill experience. My experience of life has been shaped by my love of music and poetry and art. What's it like for me to be in lockdown? Time seems to have slowed down for me. I remember long, endless afternoons spent in the studio when I was younger, which have been eluding me lately. Time seems to be flying by, but now, suddenly, thanks to COVID, time is slowing down again. The first four watercolors from November 1994 are part of a series that I painted in my new home studio on Major Street in Toronto. These were very happy times. I was newly married. We just moved into a new home, which was an old Victorian row house, and had been living in Paris off and on for the two previous years. I started this series of watercolors because I so enjoyed the color exercises that were described in Johannes Itten's book, The Art of Color. lovers in cemeteries. I became quite obsessed with the cemeteries of Paris. That November, I was also looking at Paul Clay again, an artist whose work always inspires me. The next two works on paper were done in Pooch Cove, Newfoundland, at the artist's residency created by James Baird. Millie Ristvit and I were the resident artists that August of 2001. There's something about being away in a place where there was nothing to do but enjoy the locale and work. Before leaving for Newfoundland, I found some interesting antique Portuguese paint rollers in the neighborhood hardware store on College Street, which were originally meant to create a wallpaper effect. I took them with me to Pooch Cove and started to experiment. They turned out to be a great purchase and I'm still using them. The two works on paper were made using the rollers with acrylic to create both an underlying design, as in Pooch Cove, August number two, and an added dimension, as in Pooch Cove, August number one. It was also on this trip to Newfoundland that I discovered Bisky Bay and found our summer home, where my late husband, David Bulduke, and I spent so many happy, productive years. Mina Tower was painted in 2008. I was working in oils by this time, often over acrylic. My work was becoming more textured and layered. I started using a palette knife. This progression or regression, depending on your outlook, is evident to me in these four paintings. Long time gone is still wet and perhaps it's finished. I've been so fortunate to travel and to live in interesting, inspiring places and experience so much great art and environments and architecture, not to mention meeting so many interesting people along the way.